and Tawin. They're right next door to each other and they're both holiday destinations. But which one should you choose? Which has the most fabulous fare, the most delicious donuts, and the best beach? If you don't know us, I'm Rachel and he's Wills, and we are Postcard and a Pint. So with Rill in the red corner and Tawin in the blue corner, there's only one way to find out which is best. Fight! But first we had to get there, so a jaunty little drive through Rill was in order to get to Tawin. If you like travel vlogs mixed with a bit of mayhem and immaturity, we'd love it if you'd like this video and subscribe to the channel. Cheers! Now Tawin, it's a glorious day, but where have you parked? Now, we don't really know Tawin at all, so we've parked in Tier Prince. It looks really exciting, looks like there's a market, looks like there's a fair. We paid £3. What did you pay in real, guys? We've just parked up in real, we've parked at the theatre because we always know we can get in here. We've paid £3 for that as well. That isn't all day, that is only for four hours, so, but it's the same price. We'll give them a point each for that. It's level pegging and all to play for. Things to do in Tawin. Here at Tear Prince, there is a huge market every Saturday and Sunday, selling all kinds of weird and wonderful stuff. There are ice creams and coffee and donuts aplenty, bright garish sweets, and crapland, brilliant, and flopper stoppers. That is being added to our vocabulary. If you're staying in a caravan, DVDs could be really handy. They have this canteen on site with lovely clean toilets. So far, things to do on this site alone are scoring really well. And that's without the rest of Tawin. Now, this venue has a little gem that you won't find anywhere else in the UK. Well, so far for entertainment, Tawin's doing pretty well. It's got that market. We're going to check out the fun fair now. And it's got this racetrack. We think it might be horse and carriage racing on here. We don't really know. But we're going to take some footage and I'll find out for you. Close. It's actually American-style harness racing. Founded by the late Billy Williams Sr., Tear Prince is a superb purpose-built harness racing track designed for speed and makes for a great day out. Oh, I can smell hot dogs and burgers getting hungry now. It's the seaside. Let's give Tawin two points for the market in the racetrack. What's that? We've only gone and found Santa. Of course we have. OK, let's review the fair whilst we're here. Cool. Sick making. And I know you all think we're going to ride that Ferris wheel, but we're going to switch it up today and try something else. Not that. Definitely not that. Maybe it does have Santa on it. Not the Manic Mouse. Tried that once and had whiplash for a week. The go-karts looked great, but we decided Santa it was. To buy your rides, you buy credits that you keep on a Fun Factory card. We bought six credits, enough to ride the ice jets. It started off quite well and quickly became really fast and abusive. Having fun there, H? No, not really, are you? The things I get talked into. She's had enough now. I've had enough now. They must have heard me as it slowed down and we got off. Well, that was a little bit faster than expected, but loads of fun. And you know you're old when you have to have a sit. We both have to have a sit down after that. Our legs and our heads were still swinging round really fast. But as I said, loads of fun. Three quid. Standard, I think, for what we've paid for big wheels and that this year. This is a really good fair, actually. Really enjoying it. Now, I believe there's a fair at Rill. Let's cut across there and compare. Hmm. Now, there is a fair at Rill, but there's not too much going on there. Rill used to have a fantastic fair nearer the marina but this sadly closed in 2007. If you've got very small children, this would be lovely, as the lack of rides for the older kids keeps the older kids away, so it's quieter and gentler. It's a beautiful sunny day, and it's the weekend, and there's no one here. Please, Rill, sort your fare out. And the point goes to... Yeah, as far as fairs go, Tawin's got it sewn up. There's nothing here for your bigger kids, your teens. It's a brilliant fair at Rill for your toddlers, up to seven, eight-year-olds. Beyond that, your kids will be bored. There's nothing for them to do. So Tawin wins the fair round. As with all British seaside towns, it's fish, chips, burgers and gravy. Today, we're going to compare burgers from both places. What do you say, Wills? OK, you're now onto the food review. We've got ourselves a burger. Mmm, um, mmm, mmm, it's all right. And you, Rich? Tawin, fair burger, taste test one. Mm. It's all right, a little limp, possibly, but it's doing the job. 
so limp burgers in Tawin. Now, what are we having for us pudding, Wills? Ooh, a donut. Now, I know we've just had a burger, and I know it's a bit piggy, but I've always wanted to do a donut review on this channel. So here we go, our first donut review. Mmm. Okay. Crispy outer. Quite fluffy inside. Not the fluffiest I've had, but it's pretty good. It's a bit of sugar. I would give this probably a mm, seven out of ten. Right, here it goes. What do you think then? Tastes like a donut. Great review, Rach. Now over to Rill to road test the same. Okay, so we're on our second burger of the day. We're now in Rill. I know it's a bit piggy, but we need to compare them. So, first impressions. The burger looks a bit better. Two slices of cheese, unlike the other one, which was only one slice of cheese. Plus also, this was two pound cheaper than the than the other place. The other one was, what, 5.50 and these are 3.50. So let's give it a taste. It's a better burger. Mm. I can taste the cheese. I'm very glad to hear it, Wills. Mm. Now you, Rach. Yeah, better for sure. Less limp. There you have it. At two pound cheaper and a lot less limp, Rill takes the burger round. But we've just seen the sign saying this place is going to be knocked down in two days' time. It's the last time we're ever going to eat in this place. These three cabins have been here since ever since I can remember, and Rachel can remember as well. Sad times. So you won a round, Rill, but you're knocking it down. Clever. On to donuts. The lovely lady here cooked us some donuts and we went to the beach to taste test. Right, so we're now testing the real donut against the towing donut. It's a bit more sugar on this one. Let's give it a go. It's still warm. Okay. It's not as crispy. Mmm. It's. It's still a little bit. Not stodgy, but. I think this one just slightly edges it. Let's try this one. What do you think? It still tastes like a donut. On Wills' say so, we award the donut round to Rill. Now back to Tawin to look around the resort, and this time we're comparing amusement arcades. There's one. Now, if you've been following this channel for a while, you'll know I love my 2P Falls. Tipping Point is my favourite TV show. I just can't get enough of coins falling off shelves. I have no idea why. Ah, the sound of silver money turning brown is music to my ears. Now let's see how 60p worth of two peas fared in Tawin and Rill. It was tense. My technique was on point as always, and I was as happy as, well, that. And I won big. Well, after putting all the coins in, I am in profit. I have 76p. That's a profit of 16p. Go Tawin. Over to Rill to try my luck there, but not Mr B's today. But it seems the Fun Factory cards can be used here too. Useful? Today we'll try Les Harkers and see if the payout is as sufficiently big here. Hmm, now to choose my machine. Superheroes, that'll do. Let's see how 60 pence on two peas does in real. It was just as tense. My technique was equally as good, but all I won was stupid tickets and... Not a penny, just some crap tickets. I'm gonna find a different machine for my winnings from Howard. I lied, one just fell. I've got two peas. I tried my luck elsewhere and lost all my hard-earned cash. So who's won this one then, Rach? To be fair, the arcades are much of a muchness. I just favoured the Tawin one because I won. And this one does have a bingo. But now I think I need to do this. Just sanitising the hands as I think I might have caught rabies, herpes or syphilis off those two peas. So by virtue of me ending up in profit, Tawin takes the arcade round. It's time to look further into Tawin now. It looks nice. Now, what do the locals say? Hello, you can come to Tawin. Visit our uh, Dragon Snack Bar. Nice food, nice ice creams. Thanks. Sorry, Sunshine. After two burgers and two donuts, ice cream is not on the cards today. 
Tallinn has a much more holiday resort feeling about it than Rill. This bakery is very popular and does amazing cakes apparently. Public toilets in Tawin closed, public toilets in Rill open. That's another point for Rill. Back in Tawin, we were enjoying seeing all the pubs that have live entertainment. There's quite a few. A noticeable difference is that Tawin has its caravan parks right in the centre of the resort. Rills are on the outside, so the centre is more of a town. This is probably what gives Tawin more of a resort feel. There is certainly lots to do for your family in Tawin, but we're off to the beach as it's time to compare those. Wait, what? There's another fair in Tawin, just over this bridge? There certainly is, and once again it looks to have some pretty decent rides. We had to check it out, of course. Donuts, check. Dodgems, check. And spinny winny thing, check. It's another point to Tawin. Nope, we won't be going on another one of those, and ooh, those huggy wuggies give me the heebie jeebies. Right, that's enough fares, you two. We're here to compare beaches. Okay, it's stony and it's small, but the sea is nice and blue. What are we thinking, Rach? We've come out of the back of Nightly's Fun Fair down to the beach. Not much of a beach. I think I know who's going to win this one. I think the main beach for Tawin is further past Tawin to the Abergelly side. I don't know if we're going to walk that far, but I'm guessing already Rill's got it covered on your beach. A quick hot foot to Rill and that's not a beach, that's a beer. And some incredibly bad sound. I think the gist is you can't beat a beer by the sea. Cheers. <laughs> now that's a beach. Breathtaking. Rill wins the beach round hands down. Now earlier in the video we took a look at what entertainment Tawin had to offer. Now it's Rill's turn. What have you got to offer your holiday maker Rill? A theatre with a wide variety of shows. A not Banksy. See Adventure Challenge Rill vlog for that one. And a sea life centre. Now we've not been in here for years, but if you're going to make this fair to both places, review it we must. There is a strong message of conservation and pollution throughout, which was great to see. We wanted quite a few of the exhibitions to be bigger, so the fish had more space. I mean, look, how cheesed off is he? There was to be seal training whilst we were there, so we headed out and met Bubbles. Bubbles was such a happy seal, he reminded me of Wills very easily distracted. Next up, Bubbles' impression of a shark. Can we show everyone what we're putting you in the wild? Yes, there's a ball there as well. Can we show everyone? Oh, it's a very small one today. There we go. So this is Bubbles' impression of a shark. It was a very good impression. Seals will always splash the water if there are predators around to confuse them so they can make a quick getaway. Quicker than this predator in the pool today. But if she did spot her predator, Bubbles needs to actually get out of the water. As quick, Bubbles, there's a shark coming. Get out and... We hide away, yes. We hide away. <laughs> Fabulous. Brilliant. Bye, Bubbles. It was lovely meeting you today. See, there is a shark, and we're going through its mouth. Through the obligatory Sea Life Centre clear tunnel. Gaze at fish and some sharky things. Then it was time to exit through the gift shop. What did we make of the Sea Life Centre then, Rach? I really enjoyed it and those places, I've been to a few, are always really educational and they do drive the message about plastic in the oceans, which is absolutely brilliant. But I will say, I think it was a bit pricey. I'm glad they were doing the seal training while we were there and they explained why they were doing it. But without that, I thought the price was a bit steep, sorry. Besides the Sea Life Centre, Rill has a fair bit of entertainment. From the theatre and, fingers crossed, Zip World's new balloon, soon, arcades, the Sun Centre 2 swimming pools and the little fair. We're going to award Rill the point for entertainment. It's level pegging, one round to go. On to green spaces and parkland. Where is there to sit and relax? 
Here in Tawin, there's a lovely lush park, complete with baby moorhens today. Cute! There's a pretty modern outdoor gym. No, you're all right. We've just come into this lovely park in Tawin. It's a lovely vast green space. There's loads of picnic benches. A lovely place to come and have a picnic. One downside I'd say is you can hear tear prints banging away in the background, all the fairground rides. So maybe not too relaxful, but we did see some beautiful baby moorhens. They were absolutely gorgeous. Let's head on over to Rill and see what Rill has got to offer. There is quite a bit of green space along the front, although it's a bit more parched looking. This is the memory wall. It's also looking a bit weather-beaten and tired, but it shows some fantastic photo tiles of Rill through the ages. We both remember that monorail. One of our lovely viewers, Helen, appears on this wall. Her dad won a competition to have photos included. I think we found them, Helen. I hope you enjoy. More green space, please. There is plenty, but it's all just a bit barren. There is a nature reserve down by the marina, but we were looking for parks today, so we headed off to Marine Lake. After two burgers and two donuts, not a chance. Here we are. Marine Lake is North Wales' only saltwater lake, fed from the estuary. It opened on May the 24th, 1895, which was Queen Victoria's birthday. How's it looking now? We're at Marine Lake, Rills, open space, green space, park space. It's beautiful. It dates back to the early 1900s, we think. It's a beautiful big lake. There's kids crabbing all around the sides. Is it nicer than the park in Tawin? Well, it's certainly grander. I think the park in Tawin, its children's play area is better. This could have everything. So it's got a steam engine that goes all the way around it. But like so many things in Rill, it just looks tired. So at the last hurdle, Rill fails and Tawin triumphs. This is just our opinion and you may feel completely differently. We've just enjoyed a day out in the sun. Now let's get back home for a pint and a sum up. Well, we're back and wasn't that a fun day comparing Rill and Tawin? It's great, wasn't it? Yeah, I didn't really know Tawin before. Oh, Tawin's I mean. always somewhere you drive through when the A55's blocked and you want to get further up the coast. It's got a fab fair though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's got an amazing fair. It's got two fab fair. fairs. Yeah, it really has and everything kind of is on site together. Yeah. It was really, really good. I think if I was doing a holiday yeah. and I had to pick between the two, yeah. I would probably stay in Tawin. Would you? But I would definitely visit Rill like, okay. more than once. How I'd, about you? I'd probably do it opposite. I'd would probably you? stay in Rill. That's the beach. The beach yeah. does it for me. I'll tell you what I really like. My favourite bit was where we first came into Rill and we stopped for a pint by the beach. That oh, view is, that's a beautiful bit That of is a beautiful bit. The only thing with Rill is there's no holiday parks in the centre. Mm. There are hotels They've got like a premier inn and a travel lodge, but for me, a holiday is not in a travel lodge. The caravan so. park is actually, you know, a couple of miles outside of Rill, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, Robin Hood, it's, it would take you a good 25 minutes to walk into Rill from the caravan at park. Least, at least. But it was really interesting to see the, the both of them together. And you know what? They are investing money in Rill. If you saw our video just gone, we went the other night just to have a look at the Zip World flyer. Oh, yeah, in this video, yeah. there was no Zip World uh, no, Sky Flyer I, in... The one from, anyway, a couple of nights ago, yeah. we basically found out it was in Rill, it'd come yeah. back, so we bombed it to Rill after work. It was 10 o'clock at massive. night. It's massive! It's huge! It's absolutely massive, but yeah, they are trying, but just, I was like, Denver County Council, buy a couple of tins of paint and just smarten things up, because yeah. there's tatty, bits of it that aren't actually in bad nick, apart from they're just peeling and stuff. Like the Marine it's, Lake, it's yeah, nice there, but it's, it's just tatty. it's beautiful, it's just so, so tatty, a couple mm. of flower beds and stuff would just fix yeah. it really really Lick would yeah but both are great places for your holiday yep. destination yep never yeah. thought i'd say that i know i know but I know. we love real yeah. <laughs> so if you like this video we would be super super grateful we would indeed if you could push that button uh leave a comment subscribe hit the bell to the channel, subscribe to the channel all, all that things. sort of stuff that and we will ace. see you on the next one so if there's only one more thing to say we will say cheers, cheers to, to the, the good times, times. What do you call a witch that lives in the sand? I don't know. Nor do I, but I'm getting hungry. What? A sandwich? It's no good if you have to explain them. Oh.